Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 339. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 339 to 341. Hey, in this video right here, we want to calculate the difference between the sales column and the cost of good goods column based on two criteria. So I have uh, criteria one, the month. We'll change it to January. And then uh, we'll change it to sales rep number two. Oh, there aren't any. We'll go back to sales rep number one. So here it is. We want to take 10 minus 5 is 5. 10 minus 2 is 8 and 10 minus 5 is 5. So the total is 18. And so we want a formula in one cell that'll do that. Hey, let's use the sum product. We can just, uh, well, in essence, in one formula, say, hey, any anything in this column equal to that cell times, that'll give us trues and falses, times anything in this column that's equal to that, that'll give us some more trues and falses whenever we get a true here and a true here. Then we'll say, take this column and subtract this column. I'm going to use the sum products, sum products, and it needs some arrays in here. Now, uh, we have to put the first set of trues and falses inside of some parentheses. Highlight this right here. Any of those equal to that one? Close parentheses. And I'm going to use multiplication here, because we, we uh, let me show you. I'm going to highlight that and hit the F9 key. You can just see that it gives us trues and falses, right? There's a true, there's a true, there's a true, there's a true, true, true. I'm going to control Z. Uh, so those trues and falses need to be multiplied by the next set of trues and falses. That one right there. So when you multiply a true times a true, you'll get a 1. A true times a 0, a, a false, or a false times a true will give us a 0. So anytime we have 1 times 1, we have left with 1. And what do we want to multiply it by? Well, in parentheses, we just take, remember, this is an, ar an array formula. We're doing operations on arrays. That's why we're using the, the sum products, because it can handle arrays. Uh, but here we can do, up here we just said a true-false comparative operator or equal sign. But we can e easily also do math operations, like subtraction. So we could take these two columns. Close parentheses, close parentheses. If you were to highlight this whole thing right here and hit the F9 key, which is a value, you can see that it gives us the differences in an array separated by semicolons. Control Z. Now, because we're using some product, we don't need to use Control Shift Enter. I can just hit Enter. Now, if you don't like doing multiplication, multiplication has some advantages and disadvantages. You can, uh, for larger spreadsheets, some people like to use the double negative. Uh, but there it is. Uh, both of those formulas will work. And we can see we select uh, some criteria here. And we can see that our difference formula does calculate. And if you want more about some product, I have some great links for videos up here. But that's some product used to calculate the difference between two columns based on two criteria. See you next video.